Hi everyone, in this video we will walk you through how to install pip on Ubuntu 24.04. In addition to this, you'll also learn how to install and uninstall Python packages using pip as well as how to upgrade it to the latest version. So what is pip? Pip is the standard package manager for Python. It uses the Python package index abbreviated as PYPI as the default software repository for installing software packages. PIP automates the installation of Python packages while handling dependencies, and this eliminates the need for manual installation and ensures that all dependencies required by the packages are met. Also, you can perform other operations such as listing, upgrading, and removing packages. So with that introduction aside, here is what you need before you roll your sleeves. So you need a running instance of Ubuntu 24.04 server, as well as SSH connection to the server with a sudo user configured. And by the way, you can deploy and scale your Python packages effortlessly on Cherry servers, robust and cost-effective dedicated or virtual servers. So head over to cherryservers.com and select your preferred plan to get started. Since pip is a package manager for Python, one of the requirements needed is Python installed on your system. Thankfully, Ubuntu 24.04 already provides Python 3.12 out of the box, and we can confirm this by running the command python3 with a hyphen v option, so v is uppercase, and hit enter. And as you can see on your terminal, we already have python3.12 Point three installed. Alternatively, you can run Python 3 with a double hyphen, then version, and as you can see, we get the same output, and this confirms that Python 3 is already installed. And just in case if Python is missing from your system, you can simply run the command sudo apt install Python 3 with a hyphen Y option for non-interactive installation. So here I'm gonna provide my password and hit enter, okay? And as you can see, Python 3 is already installed, okay? So nothing will happen. So this command will allow you to install Python 3 on your system just in case it's missing, all right? So with Python 3 already installed, let's now head over and install pip on Ubuntu 24.04. By default, pip is not installed, and in fact, you'll run into an error when you try to install a package. Now, for example, if you try to run the command pip3 install numpy, so numpy is a library mostly used in data science for mathematical computations, so if you hit enter, you get an error that pip3 is not found and can be installed by running sudo apt install python3-pip, okay? And this is the command that you're going to run to install pip. So on your terminal, run the command sudo apt install python3-pip like that and hit enter. So as you can see, you get a bunch of packages that will be installed, okay? So to continue, just press Y on your keyboard and hit enter. So this will take just a few seconds to complete. So just be patient as the installation proceeds. And there we go, we have successfully installed pip on Ubuntu 24.04. Now let's verify whether we have installed pip3. So I'm gonna clear the screen. Now to verify the installation of pip, simply run the command pip3, then pass the hyphen v switch like that. So v is uppercase. And as you can see from the screen, we have installed pip 24.0. Okay, also you can run the command pip3 with a double hyphen, then version, like that, 
and you get a similar output that we have installed pip 24.0 also you can verify the path of the executable file by running the command which then pip3 and as you can see it's located in the forward slash user forward slash bin forward slash pip3 okay now you can get you can get a list of available options that you can use using pip by running the command uh, pip3 with the hyphen double hyphen help option so this will give you a list of command usages on your screen so as you can see here there are quite a number of operations you can use with pip for example you can install packages you can download them you can un uninstall packages and so on and so forth all right okay so now in our next step we are going to see how to install and manage packages using pip now as from ubuntu 24.04 you are not allowed straight away to install system-wide packages using pip. So for example, if you try to install pandas using pip by running the command pip3 install pandas, you are going to run into this error, externally managed environment. So if you read more, you'll see to install Python packages system-wide, you'll be required instead to use the apt package manager so you have to run the command sudo apt install python3 hyphen xyz where xyz is a package you're trying to install all right so instead you are recommended to first of all create a virtual environment then use pip to install your required packages inside the virtual environment and that is exactly what you are going to do so i'm gonna clear the screen so I'm going to install the Python 3 virtual environment by running the command uh, sudo apt install python3 hyphen virtual environment and hit enter. So I'm going to provide my sudo password and to proceed simply type y on the keyboard and hit enter. So this is going to install Python 3 virtual environment and a number of packages. And there we go. So we are done with the installation. Now I'm going to create a directory for the test environment and I'm gonna call it my underscore environment and hit enter. So I'm gonna navigate into this directory. Okay, now with that, I'm going to use Python 3 to create a virtual environment and to do so simply run the command python3 hyphen m virtual environment then the name of your virtual environment so in my case i'm gonna say test underscore environment so you can give it whatever name you prefer so in my case this will be test underscore environment env like that so this will take a few seconds and we are done. Okay, so the test environment uh, contains a number of directories and files. So you can use the ls command to check the contents of the directory. So this is test underscore env. And as you can see, these are the contents of this directory. So we have the bin directory include we have the lib which contains libraries and so on and so forth okay now to activate the virtual environment simply use the source command source then the name of the directory which in this case is test environment then bin forward slash activate then hit enter and once you do that, you can see the prompt has now changed. So here you can see we have, we are starting the prompt with the name of the test environment. Okay. So from here, now we can start installing our Python packages. Now our virtual environment is active and we can begin using pip to install packages. So I'm going to clear the screen. Okay. 
Now the syntax for installing a package using pip is simply running the command pip3 install then you provide the name of the package or library so for example to install pandas you say pip3 install pandas like that okay alternatively you can install multiple packages on the same command line so here you can provide another library such as matplotlib like that okay so this is going to install both pandas and matplotlib okay so i'm gonna hit enter to simulate the installation okay so as you can see on the screen the installation is ongoing and this will take a few seconds to a minute so just be patient as the installation goes on and we are done okay so let me clear the screen so to list installed python packages using pip you can run the command pip3 then list and hit enter so as you can see you get a number of installed packages so here you can see the package we installed matplotlib and pandas okay alternatively you can just run the command uh, pip3 list then to display a specific package you can use the grep command line tool with the hyphen i option for ignoring case sensitivity so here you provide the name of the package so for example if it's pandas you can see we have installed pandas 2.2.3 okay similarly you can provide uh, another package name so in our case uh, it's matplotlib like that and hit enter and once again you can see we have installed matplotlib version 3.9.2 okay also you can display information about a specific package using the pip3 show command so for example if it's pandas provide the name of the package which is pandas okay so here you can see a bunch of information so i'm gonna scroll up so it's quite a bit of information here so there you go so as you can see we get a whole bunch of information so for example we get the version uh, we get a description of the package we got the copyright information and license agreement and so much more all right so as you can see the the information is quite some bunch okay now let me show you something else now you can also upgrade the python package to its latest version using the command uh, pip3 install then you pass the upgrade option here then the package name for example if you want to upgrade pandas this is a command you're going to run and as you can see we are running the latest version okay also you can pass the hyphen u flag instead and u is uppercase like that and you hit enter and you're going to get the same information all right let me clear the screen now to upgrade pip itself to the latest version run the command uh, pip3 install with the upgrade option here then provide the name pip and hit enter and as you can see we are running the current version of pip which is pip 24.0 all right so i'm gonna clear the screen now to to remove or uninstall the package simply run pip3 uninstall then you provide the package name for example to uninstall pandas the command will be pip3 uninstall pandas and hit enter so here you'll be prompted whether to remove or proceed so here i'm gonna type y and hit enter so this is going to remove 
or uninstall pandas and as you can see we have a confirmation successfully uninstalled pandas 2.2.3 okay and uh, if we try to list so i'm going to list to see whether we still have pandas so i'm going to run the command pip3 list then i'm gonna grab this pandas and as you can see we, we have no output so that confirms that we have successfully removed pandas okay and that brings us to the end of this video lesson so in this video lesson we demonstrated how to install pip on ubuntu 24.04 and uh, we also went ahead to show you how to install packages and how to manage them using pip3 okay so that's it for this lecture guys see you in the next video lesson